Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought that I would share my skincare routine that I'm currently using. This is unsponsored. And also, I thought I would give you guys my little Accutane update. I don't know if this is gonna get demonetized or not because I am speaking about a prescription drug for acne. Don't know, but whatever. I thought I would share my experience with you all so far. I am almost done my third month of Accutane. If you guys are new, my name is Chelsea. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram if you want to, at Chelsea Trevor, um, for more content. Do I have a hair tie? Apparently not. Great start. Step one is to tie up this mop on my head. Because we just cannot have that. So we're just gonna go for the high pony right now. My go-to look. In the morning, I will either rinse my face with some lukewarm water or I just skip that and just go in with my toner. I'm gonna rinse my face quickly with some lukewarm water in my sink and then we'll carry on with the next product. Okay, so now my skin is wet. I'm just gonna let it like slightly <laughs> air dry. Let's just get into my Accutane journey. So I have been on Accutane now for almost three months. My side effects are quite minimal. I just have dry lips. My hair doesn't get greasy anymore. Back pain for sure. I do feel a lot more sore just from like everyday activities than I would have in the past. And that's really it. I did experience some eye dryness a bit but it went away. And my skin, thanks to my amazing skincare routine, hasn't really been dry at all. So that's definitely a plus. But yeah, I went on Accutane three months ago from a dermatologist because my acne was so persistent. Within month one, I'll insert some like, I have video clips, so maybe I'll insert those I'm like here or something. Month one, my skin cleared, which was nice, and I was only on 10 milligrams, so my amount was really low. I also wasn't on the birth control pill until like a bit into month one, so I think that might also be a reason why my skin started breaking up because my body was also adjusting to being on the birth control pill. Month two and three, my um, doctor put me up to 20 milligrams, which is still quite low, but for my body size, I am really small. I'm only 5'2 and 100 pounds, so that was a good amount for me. They didn't want to put me on too much, so my max dosage was 40 milligrams. And I immediately started purging a lot more, so a lot of acne has come to the surface. I'm also breaking out a lot on this side of my face, but it's starting to clear. A lot of stuff that was like clogged pores is just like, like coming out of my face. I'm hoping within month four and five, I'm going to notice a lot of clearing up. Almost been breaking out for one year. I think I started breaking out in July, so we're almost at one year of having acne. But before then, my skin was really clear for about a year and a bit, where I would only get like one pit bull a month, and it would always just be cystic. And then before that, I used to get acne here, but I never got acne on my cheeks, ever. This is the first time in my life I've ever had acne on my cheeks, and it was not the best time, because it, let me, honey, honey, it's scarred. Okay, we're gonna move on to my next item in my skincare routine. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I admit, I kind of slept on this product. I've had this in my collection for a couple months and I hadn't really like given it a chance. And I love it. I'm gonna keep repurchasing this because I love it so much. Especially in the morning, I just feel like it's so good just to like refresh your face. So I use this in the morning and at night. In the morning, I kind of just put it in my hand like this. It's got like a really milky consistency and then I'll just rub it and then just like pat it, rub it into my skin. And it just provides like the nicest first layer of moisturizing for my skin, which I love. I learned all about this when I was in Korea. It's one of their like top selling products in South Korea. Literally sells out all the time. People are obsessed with it for good reason. It's literally my favorite toner. It's so gentle and doesn't like strip your skin at all, which I need with my um, skin right now. It's so sensitive and I just don't want to strip any moisture from it. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about Accutane, you can leave them down below and I'll try and answer them in like a vlog soon or something because I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about going on it and whatnot. A lot of people are scared to go on it. I was like so scared to go on it in the beginning, like literally terrified. And I put it off for so long when I kind of wish I had done it earlier. 
And I'm saying that with somebody who still has acne on their face, okay? Like, I'm still breaking out right here, and I still wish I had gone on it earlier just because now I know for sure that I am on something that's going to help my skin while beforehand I feel like I was playing a guessing game which caused me a lot of stress and anxiety and just a lot of turmoil 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 how do you say that word <laughs> in my head my own head because I was so stressed out about it and now I feel a lot better I also have experienced no depression on it so far which I think is great because I knew that was a side effect. My dermatologist warned me that if I had anything like that happen to like speak up about it. But I, so far I've experienced none. I feel pretty good. And yeah, I'm really happy. Now we're going to move on to the next product. This is something new in my skincare routine that I've just started incorporating. I actually ordered a bunch of Korean skincare. But I haven't really started using all of it yet. Because I want to actually use the products that I have before I start something new. And also... Some of it I'm going to wait until I'm off acting because I don't want to do anything too harsh to my skin right now. This is the Neogen Dermatology Real Ferment Micro Serum with Micro Bio Ferment Complex Plumps and Firms Skin. So this is an intensive gel type serum that contains 61% natural ferment complex and active ingredients like panthenol, collagen to help reinforce skin elasticity while delivering instant hydration and skin radiance, it helps improve skin's natural strength for firmer, brighter, and healthier looking skin. Nice, so I just take one pump of it like that, and then I just rub the product between my hands, and then just apply it to my skin. This is just a really nice serum for the morning. I wanted something just to kind of start targeting my skin a little bit better than just a moisturizer would, and I found this doesn't break me out at all, which is amazing, and I think that'll help with collagen in my skin I want. I'm trying to have some glowy, healthy skin and also help with my hyperpigmentation because that's a big problem for me with my acne is hyperpigmentation. I get red dots, as you guys can see, all over <laughs> my cheek is just little red dots. It's pretty smooth, I don't have too much indentation so far, a couple, which I probably will target with um, micro needling eventually but yeah right now i just have a couple like indented spots but for the most part it's just hyperpigmentation which you can get rid of thank god and then for my moisturizer this is my ride or die because my skin is so sensitive to moisturizers even before i had my big acne breakout i found that moisturizers were very like hit or miss thing with me when it came to breaking me out or just like irritating my skin and this is one that i just will always love this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin. It's fragrance free, non comedogenic and has a bunch of ceramides in it, which are always good for you. Glycerin, um, hyaluronic acid. It's just a great product. I love this one because it just doesn't break me out. So I just take some in my hand, rub it between my hands, and then I just start applying it onto my skin and I make sure to take this one for sure down my neck because I do get a lot of dryness there as well and also your neck is one of the first places you start showing age which hell no we don't want that and let me say using CeraVe moisturizers we've experienced no dryness out here on Accutane my skin doesn't peel really it doesn't I can apply makeup on it like normal any excess I always apply onto the back of my hands oh that was another side effect that I forgot to mention um, on this hand and on my elbows, there was a time when I was kind of bad with my water intake and I got like eczema. I think it was eczema. It was like a red rash on the back of this hand and I got it on my elbows too, but it's gone now. I've been really moisturizing my hands and drinking a lot of water and it went away. Now for my last step in my morning skincare routine, I just go in with a sunscreen. I don't have a favorite right now. I'm just trying to use this one up because it does expire this September. So I want to just finish it this summer. This is the Skin SkinCeuticals um, Physical Fusion UV Defense SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. This one does have a bit of a tint to it, but it literally covers up nothing. The tint is just there for a good time. I think it's just there to make sure you don't get a white cast, but you want to make sure you apply enough sunscreen. That's one of the important things. So I apply some like this on my forehead and then we just start blending it in and wearing sunscreen is really important when you are on accutane because your skin is like a thousand times more sensitive to the sun i have my spf 50 body sunscreen right here that i apply whenever i'm going to be outside for an actual periods of time which isn't very often 
But if I am going to be outside, I always apply my sunscreen. And to be honest, I wasn't the best sunscreen wearer, okay? I'd wear it if I was actually tanning. But when I would just be like out and about, I would never wear sunscreen. Because I don't really burn um, with my skin tone very often. Like I have to literally like bake myself to burn in the sun. So I like never other than on my face but like on my body so this is a whole new world for me okay spf 50 and that's it for my morning skincare routine other than good old trusty aquaphor if you have been on accutane you know that this is the only thing that saves your lips okay and so far my lips have been okay they peel they are dry every morning when i wake up no matter how much aquaphor i put on them before i go to bed that is my morning skincare routine and i will see y'all in the evening when I do my nighttime routine. So, see y'all then. Hello everybody and welcome to the nighttime portion of my skincare routine. So I hope that this lighting isn't too bad. It could be kind of bad, sorry. I'll try and brighten it up a bit. So I have a bit of makeup on and we're gonna remove that. First step, I always do a double cleanse. This is one of my favorites, I love this stuff. It's the Fresh Seaberry Skin Nutrition Cleansing Oil with protective Orpheus flower extract removes makeup and softens. This one's really nice. It removes everything and it doesn't really irritate my skin or cause me to break out. So I really like it. I just take about three pumps of it into the palm of my hand. And then I just start massaging it into my face and it just breaks everything down. Like everything, like all my mascara makes you look a bit crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> And I think that's like a key to preventing breakouts is really making sure that you remove your makeup. I'm going to go wash it off now and then I'll show you step two. <laughs> and then next up, I just take the SkinCeuticals Soothing Cleanser. And I just apply two pumps of this into my hands. And I start massaging that into my face for the next step in my double cleanse. And this one's really nice. It's really foamy, which is nice, but it's not like drying. Like I find a lot of foamy cleansers are. This was just around my face for a little bit before I rinse it off. Yay! <laughs> so next up, I'm just going to go in with the Laneige Cream Skin again. I know my skin's really red. It gets really irritated after I wash it. <clears throat> and I just apply some of this into my hands again. And we'll just smooth this all over our face. And then next up, I have two products that I'm using for treating my scars. So I have the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment 15% Brightening Complex. And I also have the Ordinary's Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. Neither of these I've noticed anything like huge. Okay, yeah. Uh, still have my scars. This one I find is a bit harsher, so I'm only going to apply it where I'm not currently breaking out, which is just a bit on this cheek, on some of my like bigger scars that I have here. I just kind of like rub it in. And then I just go in with the Ordinary's 100% Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I'm sorry, there's somebody on a mini motorcycle outside. Is... Okay guys, I just went ahead and applied the rest of my skincare because to be honest, I was feeling very self-conscious. My skin is looking terrible. Um, <laughs> but I'm just going to talk you guys through what I did. So, I applied the Ordinary's Rose Hip Seed Oil just on my cheeks because I don't have any like... You're not supposed to apply this anywhere that has broken skin and I had two little pimples here that like popped. So, didn't apply any there or on my chin. I put zit stickers on these. I just used the Cosrx ones. If you have any zit that's like popped, it's the best thing to put on them. And then I just put on the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. This is like the OG. It's so good. It has like niacinamide in it. And it just keeps my face really, really moisturized. And I haven't had any problems with like dry skin because of this, I think. So I really like it. And then on my um, pimples that are like irritated, I just applied some of this Penitin Cream. This is actually like, a, it's used for like any sort of irritation, like dermatitis, um, eczema, rashes, diaper rash, whatever. I apply this on like pimples. I don't really know if it treats them, but I just feel like it helps calm them down and soothes irritation. So I put this on it, anything that's big. And I also do like that it covers my pimples because it makes me feel better that I don't have to look at them and you know, out of sight, out of mind and all that. And of course on my lips, I'm going to apply my good old trusty... Lifesaver Aquaphor, my my fave, just out here 
Saving my lips, left, right, and center. That is my skincare routine on Accutane. And this is obviously during the still having acne. So maybe I'll update y'all at the end when my acne is gone with an updated skincare routine for having nice, smooth, flowing skin without all these pimples. And I just wanna let you all know if any of you guys are out there struggling with acne, I feel you so hard. I know what it was like to not have acne and I know what it's like to have it. I do think that it has helped me grow as a person. I feel like I'm a lot more humble now and I feel like I don't, I'm just a lot more humble when it comes to a lot of things, especially like acne and people and I know how hard it is on your mental health and all that kind of stuff and just how hard it is. Frustrating and tiring and just, it's really freaking hard and I feel like not enough people talk about it or normalize it and I feel like it's something that people feel really ashamed of. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope you guys enjoyed my update about my skin. I know a lot of you have been with me through all of it and have been so supportive. On a brighter note, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and you found it helpful and I'll see you all in my next video. Okay, bye!